We got us a Walking Liberty Ender. My first find since I come over to Bottom Feed with Scott. Looks like we got us a big old dandy button. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah. Got us a Benji. Thinking we got some silver here. Oh no, it's not. We have us a walker. We got us a cat bust. I can't make out a year or anything yet. That is awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio, and we are back for episode numbers 37 of the Penny Hunt and Fill series. Excited to get into another box, see if we can fill some spots. We currently have 196 of 265 spots filled in the three albums in front of us. Those of you who have been following along know exactly where we're at. If you have not been following along, I'll have a link up above. Go ahead, click that link, and get caught up if you'd like. So we're going to go ahead, get into this box. We're looking for wheat pennies, Indian head pennies, errors, varieties, foreigns, proofs, or anything else cool we can find. I did pop this open to make sure it was circulated. I've been having a problem getting circulated nickels, or excuse me, circulated pennies. I've been having a problem with nickels as well, but um, got a fair mix here. I see quite a few coppers on the end. No exciting enders right off that I see, so... We're going to go ahead, break into this box, see if we can find a few more for the album. See you on the first find. Roll number five. Nothing too exciting yet, but look at that 1959. That thing is a beauty. She is shiny. Wow. That is crazy. Be adding that to the BU rolls. Awesome. Roll number 11. And we finally got our first wheat penny. It is a 1936. We will check this for the DDO. This does have a double die of verse. And I am not seeing anything, but we'll take it. First wheat penny. On the board. Roll 14. And we got us a young head. And it will be 1864. Roll 17. And we finally have wheat penny number two. It was reverse facing. Probably going to be newer based on the reverse. And it is 1956 out of Philly. Roll number 18. And back-to-back -back rolls, we got another wheat penny here. It'll be number three of the hunt. It was reverse facing again. You got a pretty decent looking reverse again. Probably going to be a newer one. And it is a 1958 out of Denver. Roll number 20, fourth Canadian and another young head. And this one will be a 1961. Roll 21, and we have wheat penny. Number four of the hunt. They're slowly picking up steam. And it will be a 1950 out of Philly. It's a date I don't seem to see very often. Nice. Roll 22. And we're going to have wheat penny number five. It's kind of rough shape. Date facing. 1940. Out of Philly. Yep, she's pretty rough, but we'll take it. Roll 23. Just pulled this roll out, and on the bottom side, we have a wheat penny ender. Go ahead, break this open, see what we got. Be right back. All right, we got it open, and there it is. Not a bad looking reverse, got a little bit of wear on it. Yep, 1957. Out of Philly. We'll take it. Same roll. Two coins later. We're going to have Wheat Penny, number seven. Picking up steam quickly here. Going to be another 58D. Already got one, but we'll take it. Still the same roll. Going to be Wheat Penny, number, or, uh, can, excuse me, Canadian Penny, number six. Not Wheat Penny, number six. And another Young Head, third one of the hunt. 
1962. All three are different dates. Very nice. Roll 24. And we're going to have wheat penny number 8. Give me another 1957 out of Denver. Second 57 of the hunt. Roll 29. And wheat penny number 9. It's going to be another 50s model. And it's going to be a 1951 out of Denver. Roll 37. And we're going to have Wheat Penny. It's going to be number 10. And it is going to be a 1946 out of Philly. We'll take that. Roll 38. And we're going to have Wheat Penny. Number 11. I had to recount there. And it is right back here. I've seen the weed ear peeking out. Pretty decent condition. Little red back there hiding. And it will be a 1946. Pretty nice 46. That could be an upgrader. We will take that for sure. Roll 39. And we're going to have our fourth young head of the hunt. And we will have a 1963. I believe that all of them are different years. That's pretty cool. Canadian, number nine. Roll 42. And yet another young head. Fifth one of the hunt. I never see these quite this often. And it's going to be a 64. I believe we have one of them already. But we'll take that. Love the young heads. Roll 45, and bring you in for a couple finds. First off, we have a beat up wheat scent here. Roll 45, it's going to be wheat penny number 12. Definitely discolored on the back. And it is going to be a 56 out of Denver. But the main reason I bring you in, we have a 2000 Philly underneath the scope. Pretty nice shape overall. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But the reason I bring you in is because we have a 2000 white AM right there. It has been a while since I found a white AM of any sort. Probably three, four months anyway. Happy to see one again. And one of the other things you are looking for with these, the FG is very, very close to the base of the Lincoln Memorial here. On a regular one, it's going to be out here. It's a lot further away. So that's one of the other keys. You're going to be tucked in pretty tight to that foundation there, the Lincoln Memorial. And you definitely got a nice wide space between that AM. So that right there is an awesome find. Rule 48. And I missed it. We had Ander. I just laid these out. Checked out the date. And we have a 1952 Denver. It'll be wheat scent number 13, the baker's dozen. We'll take that. All right, we are back. 50 rolls hunted. And let's go over the finds real quick before we get into the albums. We did get 12 Canadians, six of them being young heads, which is a pretty high number for me. Don't normally see that many. We got all four designs of the 09 Penny. Probably going to keep this top one here which I believe is the presidential years, if I remember correctly. We will definitely hang on to that. It's a nicer one. Got three nice, nicer copper scents. This 59 is probably going to be an upgrader. That thing is almost flawless. And a couple more over here that could be possible upgraders. And then we have our 13 wheat scents. We have a 1958, a couple 57s, 56s. A 52, a 51, a 50, two 46s, a 40, and a 1936. And the find of the box, 2000 wide AM. We'll take that for sure. Very, very nice find. Very, very nice condition as well. So this one I may save and possibly one of these days send this in to get graded just because I want to have one. But we'll see how it goes. All right, let me grab the albums. I don't know that we're going to have any additions. We'll see. But it was a good hunt all in all for one box. So be right back with album one. 
All right, album number one, 1909 through 1940s. No additions, unfortunately. I didn't think we would have. I knew we had a 36, and we had a 1940. So, all right, on to album two. All right, album number three, 1941 through 1974S. We are going to have a couple upgrades in this one. We're going to upgrade a 71D. And we're also going to upgrade a 1946. This one that we found today has some red in it. So that'll be a definite upgrade. Let me go ahead and get those swapped out. And we'll get into album number three. All right, album number three, 1975 through 2013. And unfortunately, we will have no upgrades, no additions in this album, but it is in really good shape. And for some reason, I cannot find a 1990D. How can it be so hard? We'll be on the lookout for that one again in the next box. So, very nice. Making more progress. Got a couple upgrades. I'll take that. Be right back with a quick wrap-up. All right, that does it for this hunt. Thankfully, we got a nice 2000 wide AM. I'll take that. Unfortunately, no additions to the album. Did get a couple upgrades, so it's going to leave us once again at 196 out of 265 spots filled. So, we still got a little ways to go. We'll keep at it. We'll be back with another box soon. Appreciate everybody coming along. Give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next hunt. Sweet sun pouring down